Well, I never looked at much from the side where the additives and preservatives that are put into foods, how they can affect the human body and your metabolism. But this is uh, calcium propionate, and it's something that's in all the breads, cakes, most of the foods. It's a very uh, common food preservative that's put in just about everything you can see on the pack. It says over here since 1946. Now, it looks like the obesity problem really came upon mainly in, I'd say, the late 70s. If you look at the old pictures of the hippies and stuff from the 1960s, or if you look at people in the 1950s, they were a lot leaner. Um, the obesity has also taken off mainly in the South, too, believe it or not. Um, it's it affected recruiting levels. Now, I know people talk about the high fructose corn syrup which is very bad. It's an insulin spike. It's worse than plain sugar. But this calcium propionate, propionate is something that is in addition to it. And it's an angle I didn't, haven't looked at. They have tested mice where they have given them this propionate food preservative and it has caused um, obesity in a mice and insulin resistance and also lowered their metabolism, which is your energy levels just from this food additive alone. So it behoove you to buy bread that is devoid of all these additives. And I want to say a little story here. I knew many, many years ago a woman who had MS, and she had absolutely no symptoms of MS at all. And what she used to do was everything she ate had absolutely no food dyes, preservatives, nothing in it. It was all not just organic, it was devoid of all these additives they put in there that the FDA and it say is generally recognized as safe or safe. This calcium propionate has been around since 1946 it's in everything. Now, she had absolutely no symptoms of MS. Actually, she's the one that told me about Nature's Way Alive Whole Food Vitamins Energizer that I take, I've been taking probably for the last dozen years. It's a pretty good, I don't know if it's the best vitamin going, but it's good. It's something she took, though. Um, now that I look at this, I said, I really have always ignored this side of the equation. And if you look at the work of Holda Clark, when she's talking about curing all diseases and everything, um, she, she specifically mentions, like, you know, yellow dye this, this preservative, that. Now, this is calcium propionate, which is a food preservative, but it's been known to actually, it, by itself, by itself, without looking at the sugar and all this type of stuff, by itself, just as food preservative, when they tested it on mice, they also tested, you know, they've shown this, it would have the same effect on humans, is that the mice became insulin resistant just with this food additive, and they uh, lowered their energy levels and their metabolism levels, which is to say the same thing. Um, so they, they put on weight just from this food additive, so you can have bread that is devoid of this additive and any additives and preservatives, and even though it's got carbohydrates in it, it may not be anywhere near as fattening. This insulin resistance and lowering your metabolism has everything in the world with, you know, gaining weight. Um, now, also, once you gain weight, your insulin can't be brought down very easily because overweight people have a high level of resting insulin, high resting insulin level, I guess we should put it that way. In other words, once all their food is consumed, and it's about 12 hours after the food is consumed, an overweight person will have a higher insulin level than a regular weight person. So a regular weight person or a lean person can oftentimes eat more calories than an overweight person and not gain that much weight. But once you start gaining weight, once you start adding fat, it becomes very difficult to get rid of it unless you really start going with fasting. But then if I'm looking at this fasting, I, I really look at it that you whatever you eat, because in other words, fasting is not meaning that you don't eat anything at all ever. So even if you have a fast for several days, you're going to wind up eating something. When you do eat, you make sure that it is foods that contain no preservatives. And one of the gimmicks they have out there with the foods is that they'll use the term natural. Natural has no definition as far as 
you know, the FDA or any of the regulatory agencies that, um, you know, deem what should be on the label. It's 100% a marketing term. That term natural, they put that all over everything. And if these foods will have this calcium propionate and all the different dyes. And if you look at Holder Clark's books um, about removing the toxins from the body, she'll tell you to avoid all these different things. Yellow dye number this, red dye number that, and all these different things. that Avoid all these things. And once you get all these toxins out of your body, I mean, I guess there's other ways you can do that with baking soda sometimes. can help remove the toxins from the body. Take a little baking soda. You can, it'll help you to lose the fat. Now, one thing actually also is going on today is that the public perception of what is fat today is different than what it used to be. And a regular weight person today would be considered almost anorexic or skinny um, by the public perception that's out there today. People that are fat today are considered average because just about everybody is fat or obese, you know, overweight or obese or at least slightly overweight. Um, it's like the definition in the minds of the public perception has changed drastically because everybody is like this. And really, part of it is it's not all because of the high fructose corn syrup and the and processing of foods and, you know, you could say sugars. And actually, sometimes it, 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 there are things that are considered good sugars like uh, pure cane sugar. And some of the sugars, there's, there are sugars that even uh, are considered healing. So it's not, you can't even say one thing like that. But the op- the other thing is that everything we buy in a supermarket contains all these different additives. And this calcium propionate is in everything. So the box might say, no high fructose corn syrup, 100% natural, and it'll have calcium propionate. And calcium propionate by itself will cause mice to gain weight, have insulin resistance, and have a lower metabolic rate, which lowers their energy, which in turn, if it lowers your energy, it lowers the amount of calories you're expending, and also your energy levels to get things done. You know, fortunately for me, I actually have, have very good energy levels, although I don't think I eat everything right. I try to eat pretty good, but, you know, now I'm looking at this these additives. I'm going to try to avoid them 110%. And, um, uh, you know, I don't eat, I stop eating these, this, sometimes I'll, if I'm at a function or something, I'll eat this stuff, the cookies, but I don't buy them. And, um, you know, if they're out there at a function or something. But, if you know, now that I look at this, it's, just, it's, a, it's a whole side of the equation I have not, you know, looked into and I've been ignoring. But one reason I do feel pretty good is, is that I do take a number of different supplements, herbs, various types of oils um, and, and minerals and with all that put together and also I'll take the baking soda with the lemon juice combination and make like a spritz or seltzer water out of it which is highly alkalizing and detoxification has a very strong detoxification properties it's probably not bothering me too much because I have extremely good energy drive mental alertness and attitude for a person that's in their mid 60s it's like you know i get a lot done i'm like i'm like on a go all the time doing things and but i have never never looked at this side of the equation this you know these additives i always thought that ah, they're just some additives they're not going to hurt you that much well obviously they are and then i thought back to like my extensive reading on hold the clark how she was curing all these different fatal diseases you know part of it wasn't just using the electronic zapper or the electronic uh what we'll call it, it's actually a square wave on 100 percent positive offset it wasn't all that it was you know other things and like what you ate and everything and i and about supplements but she was also emphasizing like things that poison the body which could be and i i was thinking that was not a, i always thought it wasn't that important she would talk about the different dyes that are in the foods and stuff. I never thought it was that important. Now I'm seeing these studies on calcium propionate. And, uh, 
it's like they just this alone alone by itself if they give the equivalent that to a mouse that a human gets you know per kilogram whatever per pound you know the same amount in the same ratio to a mouse the mouse will gain weight have insulin resistance have low energy and a lower metabolism just from this alone this thing this stuff is bad news it's amazing that all these years you know well you know what it is it's the sale of food you get a higher in other words if food you know, I think they could probably still they could get away with putting this stuff in there as a preservative because they have more uh, they have much more improved ways of packaging the food but since the, the cheapest way is just to add a preservative and you know it's like in other words that raises the profit margin because there's gonna be less spoilage and it's cheap just to add this preservative to the food so the food lasts longer it could be on the shelf longer it could be transported farther and you know that, in other words you got less loss of food from spoilage so you got a higher profit margin which you know could also lower the price for the consumer too but you know the thing is the consumer is getting really screwed when they're consuming this stuff along with the basic food product and this is stuff if you look they pay careful attention uh, it might not say calcium propionate it might just say uh, propionate propionate it, it might just say that the one word but if that's on a label I would not consume it and you know the reality is this if you um, you probably can get away with a hell of a lot less calories anyway and people eat more food because they feel they don't have the energy so they eat something right well this propionate is lowering your metabolism in your energy levels it's a sole separate issue from the high fructose corn syrup and everything else that's out there this is a whole separate issue it's lowering your energy levels and uh, you know I never really looked at this before if, with all the things I've studied over the years I'm not a doctor I've read many books by MDs who are like kind of like uh, I said a little more revolutionaries but they are backed up by you know hard science and hard data and a lot of times the knowledge that we, we've had in, in that's in the medical industry has been very strong going all the way back into the 1930s but this knowledge is never passed on to the patients or the public in general because, you know, nutrition and supplements and oils, essential oils, and plain sunlight uh, do not actually add to the profit margin of the medical industry. And, you know, the medical industry, you know, the doctor, if you go in a doctor's office today and you have, you know, high insulin re levels and he'll tell you to eat less sugar and all this kind of garbage, they're, they're not going to tell you about this part, though this could be an actual major part of that root cause and again re-emphasizing people eat more because they have less energy and this propionate is lowering your metabolism so you're thinking oh I gotta eat more so you're gonna have more with this propionate in there it's not just the donut it's this preservative it's beyond you know, it's beyond the sugar and the high, the high fructose corn syrup these people in the, in the and it's amazing. I, I'd assume the people that are high up are very educated in the uh, food industry. They must know this. But, cha-ching, we made a sale, right? Anyway, over and out, I figured I'd give you a little bit more unique advice and there'd be more stuff coming up on this channel. In this regard, I'm uh, changing the emphasis back to health more as we were doing for many years. Over and out.